Hello everyone, this is Matthew. We are going to be cooking some chicken corn soup tonight. Definitely my favorite thing to eat. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, Lost in Translation. Uh, quick rundown of the ingredients. We have some chicken. We have a bouillon cube. We have some uh, maggi, maggi, whatever it is, seasoning. We have a can of cream of corn. We have some peas and some green onions. And everybody's favorite, can't forget, some pepper. So right now, just waiting for the water to boil. Uh, you're going to want to use six cups and bring it up to a boil. Always don't forget to salt your water. And yeah, it's almost there, just waiting for that. And then I'll toss in the chicken to get started. Okay, so now that we have our water boiling, I'm going to add in the chicken. No real special technique, just kind of slap it in there. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. And just kind of break it up, make sure that it's all up in there. Turn it up a bit so that it still stay warm. Now you want to boil it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Give it some nice color. And also cover it. See you back in about 10 minutes. I'm going to mix myself a drink. Welcome back everyone. It's been 10 minutes. I know that was quick in the world of YouTube. Uh, I got myself a wonderful drink that I'm enjoying right now. And uh, time to show you how far we've come. So this is how you want your chicken to look. Let me just get the water out of there and get a little bit closer so that you can see. No pink, no nothing, kind of like a white color, thoroughly cooked. Just put this guy right over here. Bouillon cube. Just to make it easier, break it up as you're adding it. Oh, baby. There we go, get it all in there. And of course, obviously, wash your hands before you cook any type of food. And uh, peas, please. We're not in the peas, too. Leave no pee behind. And now let's stir this up. Give it a little bit of time, that bouillon cube will break down, the peas will cook. Just kind of stir it a little bit. And you can already see some color coming into the water, which is nice. Set and turn to brown. All that flavor. And just keep on stirring it. Make sure that everything's broken up. And obviously take a drink. Uh-huh. Catch you in a couple minutes. Cover it up. Welcome back, everybody. It's been two minutes. And we have a nice boil going on here. I'm gonna take off the cover. Give it a nice little, nice little stir. Still boiling over. At this point, you can turn it down a little bit. Still great color. And time for the ingredient that's in the name of the actual thing. Cream of corn, pretty much get it anywhere, any grocery store. Add it in. There we go. 
that out there. And as always, you're going to want to give it a nice little quick start. It's already smelling great, smelling of peas. The bouillon cube is really starting to come through. You can uh, use either chicken or beef, but I recommend the chicken cube. Just give it a little flavor. And right now, with that cream, turned the broth a little bit, uh, a little bit white. That's, you want the cream of corn, not the regular corn, as I figured out. Cream of corn, guys. Okay. okay. Follow me. Let's keep on giving it a stir, giving it a stir. And uh, yeah, just. Uh, don't forget uh, your drink and your cover. Slap that right back on there. And, uh, let the magic go. See you in about a couple minutes. So, uh, depending on how you want your uh, chicken corn soup, you can always put more cans of cream corn. So I'm gonna add a second one in, just to thicken it up a bit, give it that consistency, a little bit more corn. Get it all in there. Right here. Yeah, I just give it a nice little stir. Break all that up. It's cooking. Oh, it smells so good. Come back on. Give it the thumbs up with approval. See you in about two minutes. Welcome back, everyone. Still enjoying my beverage. This is the time that you put in some seasoning. So, depending on how your depending on how you like it, pick this up at TNT, or if you're in the East, <clears throat> find it in your. Uh, oriental section of any grocery store. Very tasty. Goes well with a lot of stuff. I'm going to be tasting it just to make sure that it's not too salty. Because then that will just ruin it. So I'll be a little bit generous on the first time. Close it up. Have your, uh, have your spoon stir it up a bit. Wonderful. Now, be super careful with this, but I am going to have a little taste. So definitely can use a little bit more. You'll know if it's too much or getting to that point that it's too much. You can be pretty generous with it. We're not measuring, we're not teaspoons, tablespoons, or anything like that. Just have fun. Stir it up. Perfect. So that was like two good helpfuls of the seasoning. If you wanted to make it saltier, go to town with it. But uh, yeah, I kind of don't like it too, too salty. There's a bouillon cubes already in there. Give this a nice uh, good stir, keep on stirring it. It's coming together. Kind of show you how it looks already. So you can already see the corn, the pea, the broth is pretty brown now because this is brown. Cover it up again. <clears throat> Let the magic happen. And see you in like two or three minutes. Hi, welcome back everyone. This is the secret to making a very good chicken and corn soup. You're going to want to pick up some tapioca starch. Put it about... Eh, I would say about one quarter of a cup and then fill it up with the rest water to a cup. It's 
kind of mix it around. I can toss that right here now. Don't need that. Take off the cover. Make sure all that water's in there. So at the same time that you're putting in your tapioca starch, you're going to want to mix it. Just kind of a little bit slowly. It's, all, it's at a rolling boil right now. This is going to thicken up the actual soup itself. So it's not watery, you don't got to boil it down or anything like that. This is going to automatically do it. Give you that nice consistency. And already it's getting thicker, which is nice. Give it a nice stir, you want it all in there. No rush with something like this. Just kind of take your time. As long as you cook it, obviously, you don't want to think where it's going to be. But the taste is always going to be there. And at this time, you're going to want to add in your fresh, leaf chopped green onions. And a straggler. Get that right back in there. This is my favorite type of soup. It's very easy to make. And it is super tasty. It's already thickening up. So we're gonna let the tapioca starch do its thing. Cover it up, let it boil down for another two minutes or so. And we'll catch you in a little bit. It's been about a minute now. Just one last thing to do necessary on anything that you're cooking. Last ingredient you use, fresh the ground pepper. I like to be very liberal with my pepper. And you can already see it's very it's starting to thicken up. Mix all that in there. See the nice brown color. Tapioca starch is doing its thing, thickening up the sauce. You can actually see it. It's not too watery anymore. And now we just cover it back up and let it boil down a little bit. You can do another tasting from here too if you want uh, if you want a little bit saltier. Now that's perfect. Perfect! Don't forget to like, subscribe, weekly videos, food, travel, reviews. We're gonna have some fun with this. Put a comment in. We'll do what you say. We'll pick a winner if we think it will be a funny video or a good video. Yeah, smash the like button. It's gonna be a good sound. That's good right there. Okay. Give it another cover. And let the magic happen. See you in about two to three minutes again. Now time for my favorite part. It is still a bit hot, so bear with me. So good. This will make uh, quite a quite a lot of servings. With this pot, it's about halfway full with the ingredients that we used. Follow our steps. <clears throat> Enjoy it with whatever you're having. It goes good with really anything. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have something fun next week.
like, subscribe, hit the notifications so you'll know when we put out a new video. This is Matthew with Lost in Translation. I hope you guys all have a wonderful night. Take care.